Hello and welcome back and that is right today I want to talk about a few new Terramaster Nazis that I just heard about in the last few days. Now this video is sort of two things. Number one it's me talking about these new Terramasters but also it's talking about what they represent. So before we go on to that second part let's actually drill into these new systems. Uh, these have been added to the official product pages in the last few days and Frankly, when you're looking at the price point, you're looking at what is largely considered the fully featured kind of um, prosumer SMB tier there of two and four base systems. These are pretty much ahead of the game of kind of everyone else in terms of what you are getting for the money, but also the base level hardware standard. They are the F2424, the F4424 and the F4424 Pro. Three systems that are rocking out the gate for the 2020 series it's kind of shots fired over at Terramaster as we tend to see refreshes of the pretty much status quo of all of the NAS brand hardware every two to two and a half years and because Terramaster rolled out uh, their 423 series before everyone else it also means that kind of the refresh but not the refresh because this is meant to represent kind of a pro tier above the other ranges out there is arriving before anyone else now what does that mean well this two and four bay system they are rocking out the gate with the n95 cpu that arrived um uh, early 2023 it was q1 2023 this is a quad core cpu that can run up to a potential 3.4 gigahertz at max frequency but it's actually got thanks to intel revisiting a lot of those order lake cpus and the elimination of the celeron and pentium layer we're seeing these cpus on a much 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 lower uh tdp uh power rate and i believe this one is 15 watts but with a power consumption when needed particularly high that but uh, burst up to 3.4 gigahertz when needed it also arrives with 1.2 gigahertz so 1200 megahertz integrated graphics on board as well with support of ddr5 memory now these two the two bay and the four bay are rocking out the gate with eight gig of ddr5 memory that on the cpu benchmark pages can go up to 16 gig but terramaster state that you can go up to 32 gig if you use their own modules now that is the terramaster f2 and f4 424 so what's the pro bring into the party well it's bringing to the party an 8-core, eight 8-thread eight i3 processor. This is the N300 or potentially the N305. This may be a version thing that we're going to have to tackle in 2024. This CPU goes up to a potential 38 gigahertz this is uh terramaster's first i3 nas it also arrives with 16 gig of ddr5 this maximum supported cpu limit but also terramaster say they will get this up to 32 gig as well with their own ddr5 modules there these are two very intriguing systems and do take note of that n95 and n300 cpu because i'm willing to bet in the next 12 to 18 months you're going to start seeing those two processors on a lot more systems and the n100 but more on that another time now these systems not only run TOS 5.1 and all the apps and services with TOS 6 currently in beta, but alongside that, these systems arrive with two and four bays of storage as well as internal NVMEs. These are both uh, nine lane Gen 3 CPUs, which means those are spread across the whole systems. You've got a couple of Gen 3 M2 NVME bays inside, but we're still yet to find out if they're going to be throttled down to three times two or three times one. I will say, Disappointingly, neither the Pro or the Standard rock out the gate with 10 GBE. These are all 2.5 gigabit Ethernet systems, which is good, but 2.5G has now become the standard for NAS systems. So that's good and bad news rocking around the field. But at least you've got two ports of failover. You've also got 10 gig USB connectivity. And of course, there's an HDMI output, which although you can't use because Terramaster don't have an HDMI GUI, you can utilize it for command line. And of course, you can use it for true NAS scale, true NAS core and unraid installations if you choose ultimately the reason this is an interesting discussion topic for Terramaster is less about that hardware it's the fact that 2024 and this is the second half of the video it's not going to be half look at the timeline it, 2024 I thought was going to be a relatively quiet year for new releases in this part of the industry. A lot of users have asked about if Synology are going to refresh the DS923 Plus. Are they going to be refreshing the two bays and the four bays? Are QNAP going to release uh, an upgrade of the TS464 or some of their, the 453E and the like? And everything I'd seen online indicated that those brands were going to ease off the hardware and focus on the software a lot. 
And then the same goes for Acer Store. It didn't look like Acer Store. Maybe we might see a refresh of that Flash Store. However, with these CPUs uh, being rolled out, and I'm seeing it integrated more and more in some of those DIY solutions, and TerraMaster rocking out the gate with those, we already were seeing a lot of these brands using CPUs that have been refreshed by Intel. So maybe, although 2024 looked like it was going to be a relatively quiet year for that tier of the industry, allowing TerraMaster presumably to really make a, uh, a killing, it looks like it might not be as quiet as a lot of us thought. So if you are in the market right now to look at buying a two or four bay fully featured solution, I advise wait around just a little bit longer. Those TerraMasters, if you're looking at buying a TerraMaster, I would immediately skip the 423 and go straight to this 424 generation. But if you're looking at a NAS from another brand, hold out until the spring. Because if TerraMaster rocking out the gate with that refresh, they wouldn't do it unless they felt they even needed to or the market was there to do so. And regardless of those, that means that the other brands might follow suit. And although TerraMaster aren't the biggest brand, they tend to... When they make those changes, do it based on necessity rather than demand. So if they're doing it, I wouldn't count it out yet that the other brands are going to rock out refreshes of some of that tier of their solutions. But nevertheless, if you come to this video to learn about those new TerraMasters because you were looking for the best value hardware, you know, right now in terms of NAS solution for your own third-party OS, where do you use the TOS software that's got cloud synchronization, got backup tools, got duplication tools, got BTRFS support, got multimedia support, Plex support, virtual machine support, surveillance support, da 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 da, or you were looking at a turnkey solution to stick on an open source software, definitely the 424 and the 424 Pro series are going to be worth keeping an eye on, especially now they're cranking out the gate with Intel Core processors. Let's keep an eye on this one. Um, the, in the description, there's an article that I will be updating as we learn more. And of course, stay tuned on this channel for more new releases as the year progresses. And no doubt this isn't the end of the story here when it comes to refreshing that tier of the turnkey NAS storage solutions in the market. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic week.